Hey, good morning. Pastor Steve here. Hebrews 1 again, verse 7. Of the angels, he said, who makes his angel spirit and his ministers a flame of fire. And from Jim Elliott's journal, <clears throat> you know Jim Elliott, he and four of his co-missionaries were speared to death by the Huarani uh, Indians. They were called Alka, which is a, a pejorative name, really meant savages. But they just needed Jesus. And they went down there, they'd made contact, and then they landed, uh, Nate Saint landed his plane down in there, and, and Jim Elliott and Roger Darian and McCulley, Pete Fleming, were all speared to death, just completely, randomly speared to death. Jim Elliott wrote in his journal in his senior year, he said, it seems impossible that I am at my senior year at this place, and truthfully, it hasn't the glow about it that I rather expected. There is no such thing as attainment in this life. As soon as one arrives at a long-coveted position, he only jacks up his desire another notch or so and looks for higher achievement, a process which is ultimately suspended by the intervention of death. Life is truly likened to a rising vapor, coiling evanescent to Life is truly likened to a rising vapor, coiling, evanescent, shifting. May the Lord teach us what it means to live in terms of this end. He makes his ministers a flame of fire. He said, am I ignitable? God, deliver me from the dread asbestos of other things. Saturate me with the oil of the Spirit that I may be a flame. But flame is transient, often short-lived. Canst thou bear this, my soul, short life? In me there dwells the spirit of the great, short-lived, whose zeal for God's house consumed him. Make me thy fuel, flame of God. Then he wrote, God, I pray thee, light these idle sticks of my life, that I may burn for thee. Consume my life, my God, for it is thine. I seek not a long life, but a full one like you, Lord Jesus. On a jungle beachhead in Ecuador, Jim Elliott and his four companions were speared for the sake of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Their death... Their death resulted in a great cultural and spiritual change for those dear Horani tribesmen. I will be done. Am I ignitable? Are you ignitable? You ponder that, Pastor Steve.